So, <clears throat> a lot of people like to lead worship with Ableton in session view, but one of the downsides is that there's not really a good way to fade tracks together. And if you're using arrangement view, it's a little easier. <clears throat> but arrangement view is a little more complicated. You can't see your set list laid out as easily. I like to run a big master track with all of my songs and tracks laid out in session view. So I think there's a way we can kind of rig the system, if you will, to work on fades between songs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to try to fade between This Amazing Grace and King of Kings. We'll do This Amazing Grace in G and King of Kings in original key of D. Now I already have King of Kings open here, so let's do this first. Lots of tracks for this one. So we're gonna click and drag, and we're gonna hold the command button so it moves everything over, and let go of the click. Keep your hand on the command until you see it show up. And then we're gonna go in and get This Is Amazing Grace. This is the North Point Worship version, which is really great. Okay, same thing. Boom. And then you can go in and do more with the tracks and organize everything, but for today that won't matter much. So here's what we've got. <clears throat> if we clicked on this amazing two, grace, we're playing our tracks. One, two, three, four. And you know, we come to the end of the song and we want to go to King of Kings. Right? So let's pretend this is the outro. King of Kings. One, two, so it's a little abrupt, intro, especially if the song two, is ending three, big like that. Four. So here's what I think we can do. We're going to insert an audio track. And this is a trick that I use uh, when I'm running a click and pads, is we're going to actually add a pad. <clears throat> we're going to call this the transition pad and it's going to be our best friend so basically you're going to need to have some various pads or things that you can do you can download from jake Oslo at church front has some free ones if you've never had so i'm going to use those for today just so you can see what this looks like so i am doing this is amazing grace in the key of g so i'm going to put the g pad in there and then actually i'm going to use some of um let's put uh Title glow pad in D. <clears throat> okay. Now here's how this works. When we still have this pad going one, on, two, you can hear one, it in the background. Two, three, four. You don't really want it to be that aggressive. Intro. But it's not going to matter too much if you keep it at a nice solid level. Verse. And then we're going to go into King of Kings. One, two. So nothing yet has changed. Intro, two, three. Here comes in four. the pad for this one. So yeah, we're going to keep it at a decent level here. First one. Not sure I love that title blow. Let's try our game breath. All right, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to add some audio effects to this channel. <clears throat> So you're going to go in and we're going to add some reverb. And we're going to try using this Cathedral Reverb. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the decay time to right around there. And what that's going to do is that's going to let this pad, which isn't going to be affected much with the reverb, play out a little bit longer than the one. It's going to feel like it's fading out. And since these pads fade in, uh, as most do that you can find, this is going to create a fade out, fade in effect, almost like a crossfade, which you can do in a range of view, but not in session. So let's try it now. One, two, one, two, three, four. And you know, maybe let's go to the end of the song here. There. This is a little more difficult without the tracks actually put in this view as well. 
I'm doing this fast forwarding through timeline. Okay, so we're at the outro. <clears throat> now it's still not going to do this automatically, but what I can do is I can do it as soon as it's done. I can hit the next step. And this pad's going to keep playing. King of Kings. One, two, intro, two, three, four. And now, here we go. <coughs> so that was almost a seamless transition. And you can mess with the decay time so that things are longer or quicker as these First fade one. in and out. But essentially, you just crossfaded those two together. Now, this doesn't have an automatic crossfade like the Prime Multitrack app does, but you can just have your MIDI foot pedal set up to control that. The other thing you could do is if you don't want these pads to play the entire song, there's a couple of different options. One, you could send it to a separate channel when you route it. If you're using something like, you know, track rig or multi-output multi um, audio interface to run your tracks. And your sound guy could have it know that he has to have it up at the beginning, that channel up at the beginning and end of songs, but can fade it out as needed or if it sounds too much for him. The other option is you could assign, the nice thing about using session view is you get these columns and you can assign the column to a MIDI, a MIDI foot switch to trigger this on and off. So for example, One, you could have it at a two. higher volume. One, two, three. But then as the song goes on, you can kind of cut it out, right? And then it's a little more work for you or your sound guy. But then when you get to the end of the song, you can remember to put it back in so that when you hit New Kings, you can totally hear it. Intro, two, three, four. That's a great sound of the transition. I like this decay time usually right around there, a little less than three quarters of the way. Now what I would recommend though because that's going to take too much time and it's nice because whenever you stop your songs too, your last song or something like that, it's not going to be abrupt. You don't have to stop it directly with the drummer or something like that. Um, I would just keep it at a minimal volume so that you can still hear it for transition one, sake. Two, but you're not going to notice it much when one, the song's two, playing. Three, four. <clears throat> Most of these songs have a pad going in the background anyway. You could even take the pad out if you want. So that's all this is doing. <clears throat> I just replaced that sound. We're having both of them. But you're not noticing it much here. <clears throat> nice and low. One, but two, you still notice it enough for your transition. Intro, two, three, four. All right, and that's how I would crossfade or work transitions in session view for worship in Ableton. Hope this is helpful. Hope you guys are glorifying God and all you do, including running tracks, pursuing excellence for him and not for ourselves. All right, this is Worship Leader Stuff. See you next time.